Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this video, I want to show you some features that have been added to Game Maker in the latest update. This version that I'm using at the moment is IDE 2.1.3.273, and I believe the update went live a couple of days ago. Um, what I'm going to be showing you today is a way of controlling variables of your game objects in a room a little bit similar to how the way that Unity does it. So you, you sort of expose a variable to be public and then you're able to adjust the parameters on the fly or in the room editor to create variances between the same object. Now I'm using a piece of demo code here. This is my bullet hell shmup style math asset. I created an asset based off of the math that we created for our shmup that we live streamed the other day. That asset is available on the Game Maker Marketplace. You can go ahead and uh, find that just by searching for shmup math and you'll be able to download that. Also, I'd like to add that for the Patreons, you will be able to download this project, including the shmup math library on my Patreon channel of which I will leave a link in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, please go ahead and donate just a dollar or two dollars to the channel. It will really help us grow. We can start to do some more things with RM2K Dev, like the live streams and more videos and tutorials like this one. So with that said, guys, let's get started and make this tutorial. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up my objects. Now I'm gonna be using the single round emitter, which is the first room that I have here, which is just the single round emitter for bullets. Now in my bullets, I have a couple of different bullet types, as you can see here, um, zero, one, two, and three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create in our emitter, what bullet are we going to use? So if I open up my single round emitter object here, you'll see there's this new box down the bottom called variable definitions. Now if I select that, we can go ahead and add a variable definition. I'm going to call this bullet type. Then we can set the type to integer because I want this to be a whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Um, so an integer is a whole number. And then I'm going to select options. And I'm just going to say use range and the value is going to be 0 to 3. And what this is going to do is it will give you a little slider that you can use to set the bullet type. Now, now that that's done, over here in my code, I have a function to fire a bullet. This is part of the shmup math library. And one of the parameters is which sprite of the bullet are we going to use? So I'm gonna use the variable that we just created called bullet type. So now that we've selected bullet type for the type of bullet that we're going to use, that will now be directly connected to the variable definition. Now the default value is zero. If I run the game, what you should see is the zero sprite is our bullet, which is exactly as it was before because the default value that I had was zero. But if we change this slider to one and run the game again, what you'll see is all of the bullets are now the second type of image. Now the, the power in this is that we can have a single object that now exposes all of its public variables, for instance, bullet type, maybe um, attack rate, firing rate, um, depending on the type of game that you're making, maybe it's an enemy, maybe it's uh, the range of sight that they can see, and we can manipulate these properties in the room editor to create different types of objects based off of the same object. This works because each one of these objects is not just a copy of the object that we have in our objects window over here, it's actually an instance of that object, meaning we can change variables for each of these individually. And to do it in the new Game Maker, all you have to do is double click on the object, it will open up the object properties, and you can select the variables tab, where now you can select a value in here if you select edit. We can, sorry, you can click the edit button over here to overwrite the variable, and then you can change the slider. So if I set this one to one, and remembering that our default is zero, the left one should be displaying our red bullet and the right one should be displaying our blue bullet. So what you can see is this allows for a really powerful and really flexible system to modify instances of objects in the room editor directly without having to go back and change code or create copies of objects or um, you know just uh, rework objects so that you know you have a different bullet with a with a blue sprite or even passing across variables it makes it really easy to come in here and just change these variables I'll change it to number two which is the small red bullet 
And as you'll see, now we have the large red bullets and the small red bullets. We can come over here and we can edit this one as well. Let's say we go variables, we'll overwrite the variable and we'll come over and we'll use sprite number three. You can run this and you'll see that now we'll have two different kinds of bullets. We have the small red bullets and we have the small blue bullets. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. This is a really, really cool, powerful concept that's only recently been added to Game Maker. I hope you find this video useful. I hope you use this in your games. And if you do, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you have enjoyed this video and you do enjoy the videos that I'm making, please go ahead and drop a dollar or two up on Patreon. I will leave a description below. You get a stack of rewards like access to the source code as well as free access to most of the assets that I've created on the Game Maker Marketplace, as well as you'll get um, early viewing of videos they go up to patreon first and then a week or two later they come out on youtube so if you're interested in that i will leave a description in the uh, comments sorry not the comments the description box below the video thank you for watching take care everyone and i will see you guys next time bye for now